Hey guys, so it's me here, and yeah, I'm back again because uh, I felt like it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, this this nice World Cup match I had um about a month ago was um problems. He's not even cleanly the Uber's play and stuff. So yeah, he's a nice friend. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so this is my first game. I played six games, so yeah, we're gonna put all of them. Um, it's the first one, so yeah, I'll just get into it. Um, so as you can see, I'm using a pretty um standard team of SD Aegis last College Caldio um sub that plus score. Meg Gyarados, um, Life 4, Bloody Ass, and just, um, I've asked all in Bishop, I couldn't, like, fit anywhere else, but, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, he has, like, standard, like, an offense counter team, basically. He has Sass Memo, Sass Loom, in addition to, uh, dealing with Bloody Ass and Titor and Excadrill, so it's really annoying, because Sand usually beats offense, and he also has two dual Sashes, so. It's a pretty good C team, but my style, because I usually only use, only use offense, so. Yeah, but luckily for me, I'm, my team is more balanced-ish, so I'm not, like, a complete loss, so. Anyway, let's get into it. So, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna decide to leave Glisco here because um, I don't want to leave Blue Loom. But sadly for me, at least with this stupid Mammoth Swan thing, I have to switch out my Glisco into Gyarados, and that sucks for me because I guess I'm free Stealth Lock. So now I'm at disadvantage. Best of a good deal. Um, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, putting the uh, Azumarill to come out, but he brings out Blue Loom, which kind of sucks for me. Um, I don't Mega Evolve because I don't want to lose the Blue Loom one v one. So I'm just gonna stay in here. Trying to wake this up because um <clears throat> I know always switch out in order to beat my ghetto, so that's fine. Um I'm gonna stay in here too. I'm hoping I wake up, but I don't, sadly, because uh I get a three turn sleep, kinda sucks, but that's a big deal. Um I wake up this turn, so I get off my earthquake now, which does like forty percent. I need to weaken this because it's kind of a pain for my Keldeo or my uh, Ladia, so kind of important. But so I lost my mom though, which kinda sucks. But now I'm down six five and uh he still has Sass Mammo and he still talks, so it kinda sucks for me, but um Thankfully, I'm, I'm able to get back into the game because of this. I go for my Stores Dance, which is a kind of surprise move. Keep bringing the Shadow Ball, which is standard set, but that's good for me. Now, Sack Blue Loom, and now I'm back in this game. It's pretty good. So, yeah. And now, he's not many options here. He has to go to Extra Jail to kill me, which is fine. I'm going to have a free King Shield. And, yeah. So, I know I know I'm going to die to Earthquake because he's not. Air Balloon, which means he's Life Orb. And Life Orb, Earthquake, like, always, always KO. So, I'm just gonna make the safe place, switch to the Mega Score, eat the earthquake, obviously with my immunity. And I know he has to switch here because Astral is kind of put, like kind of his win condition here, so I'm looking for a toxic and it works out pretty well for me. Um because now his sash is broken for now anyway. I'll do conceal healing with it back later with Laddie ass, but anyway. So oh, he's not icicle speed, which is fine. I'm just gonna make the safe play again, switch out the Keldeo. Predicting the icicle speed, um, I know I can let both quick either way, so it's a safe play, so that's fine. It's icicle speed, which is fine for me. Only gets three hits, so I'm pretty high still, which is nice. So now I know he's gonna go to Laddie Ass because it's an obvious switch, because it's an obviously, Laddie is obviously a good Keldeo counter, so I'm gonna go to A slash predicting that, which works out pretty well for me, because now I have advantage again. So, um, I could have SD here, but I chose to go for the Iron Head because I figured I don't want to get a free switch to Astro Jealous because he can still kill me and I can't OHK him at plus two, so. Yeah, anyway, it goes to the Healing Wish, which is interesting, because he just sacked his Laddie Ass with fully at 100%, which, I don't know why, because I know I know he wants to get this Mammoth Swan and Sash back, but at the same time, Mammoth Swan can't kill my Aegis Slash, so he's not Life Orb, so I'm going to be able to stay in and bring it back down to its Sash, so now he's at a major disadvantage, he just sacked his Laddie Ass, and it's a 1%, so, yeah. Now I switch out, because freaking Shadow Sneak, which is fine, um, I just want to fool anyway, just because my strongest move against Excadrill anyway, so, whatever. I'm gonna go fucking shield again, just to scout. And yeah. So, once again, make the safe play. Um, but he's gonna decide to double switch here just because um, he knew my switch was obvious. So, he's gonna go to Mammoth Fire. I'm gonna go to Latias. I'm gonna Latias and the close course because um, it's more offensive pressure at this point anyway. So, it's fine though. So, I'm not gonna live all So, I'm gonna go straight for the Jacob Media. It's a lot of damage. Pretty good for me. And uh, yeah, um, here I'm gonna go to my Keldeo. Because I know he's Mega Titor because um he has no Mega so it's definitely DD which is fine um he goes for Dragon Dance here I know I can live um plus he those but either way so it's a safe switch um luckily for me I am Scarlet Caldeo because if I wasn't Scarlet he just clean sweeps me here but luckily for me he dies so <laughs> it worked out well so now I have three mods left I'm a major advantage now so that's pretty good um we nice to go back out make a safe play again let's go straight to the score um eat up the other quick obviously. And he can't really win this because my Gliscor is definitely faster than him at this point. Because I know for a fact he's adamant from that damage and other previous damage. So, and my Gliscor outspeeds um, adamant. Actually, it's pretty good for me. So, yeah, Sand was off now. 
I'm just gonna kill it with those quick because I can. So <laughs> yeah, it dies. Um, he's gonna go to Mammoth Swan here. Um, I'm just gonna put Tech for some free scouting because why not free health? And yeah, um, here I thought I was faster, but apparently the smoke on um Glisco analysis spread. So for some reason, she, was, she chose to use enough speed to speed tie Mammoth Swan instead of outrun it. So I lose a speed tie, which is a target, but it doesn't really matter if I win anyway. But uh, I'm glad I won. That would have really sucked if I lost because of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I made sure they fixed it after that. So uh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, I kill that. He's going to bring in Azuma, which is fine. Free Shadow Sneak for me. And I'm just going to end up with Bishop behind head. So yeah, I'm 1 0 at that point. So yeah, five more games to go. Um, I'm going to post. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. And yeah, I'm coming through out here. Bop, we in this IDM. Bop, there it is. Peace, people.